Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of TypeScript, we will learn about inheritance. First of all, we will learn what is inheritance. After that, we will make a parent class and child class. Then I will tell you how we can use inheritance in a real time example. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions related to the inheritance. In this video, we will cover the basics of inheritance and we will make one or maybe two videos on inheritance in that videos we will learn how we can uh, uh, make the inheritance with the multiple parent files and how we can use inheritance with the different different files and all so now let's start with the first question what is inheritance inheritance simply means when we can use a properties or a function from one class to the another class that time we can say that we are inheriting the class a to the b and the class that basically uh, inherited is basically our parent class and the class which basically use the uh, properties of parent class is basically a child class and now let's see how we can create a simple example of inheritance so what i'm going to do i am just uh, creating a class with the name of users and let's say it have a function with the name of add user right and after that let's say it's a return uh, after this processing it will simply return uh, user added right so it's simply returning like this uh, users is added in or you can say that uh, user is added as an user so let's say if we are registering a uh, peter then it will say that peter is added as an user right so now we can simply create a object of this class so let's say u1 is a object let's take a const and uh, now we can just say that new users and uh, after that let's create a const console.log you can simply put here u1 dot add user and let's let me add here peter after that we just need to run it uh, so that we can compile the code from typescript to javascript and simply put here tsc minus w w basically uh, just uh, make it running make it in the running condition and now this is already added in the index.js so whenever I am running index.js here you can see that Peter is added as an user that's simple we know that right so again uh, let's say I am just creating a one more class uh, here so the class name is let's say employee right and uh, here we can just simply add here add employee and the class name should be employees after that let's uh, we are just getting a parameter with the emp and it's simply returning a statement let's say emp is added as an uh, employee right we can do that and similarly we can just uh, take a const e1 is the new employee right and after that we can just simply make a console dot log and uh, we can just simply put here e1 dot add employee right and if i'm just simply passing here bruce then it will work fine and it will return bruce is added as an employee so let me just run it again and you will find that everything is working fine great so now what i want that whenever i am creating a user or i am creating a employee its email id should be automatically created right so now what i'm just going to do i am creating a one more class so i'm just putting in on the top because uh, it will treat it as a parent class right so let's create a class create account 
so why i am not creating a like create email the reason is because in account maybe we are generating a uh, some uh, auto generated password maybe we are generating email or maybe we are generating a normal uh, digital id and all that's why i am just making a common class for everything and here i am adding a function so let's say function name is make email right and here what i'm just going to do i'm returning uh, let's say just uh, i'm putting here let's say person and now let's simply put here uh, template literal so that we can add a variable as parameter as well as string so at the rate gmail.com or let's say test.com or gmail.com right so now whenever i want to create a user or i want to create an employee i can use this class as a parent class and for that let's say i just want to generate an email for password then what i can do here simply i can just simply put here uh, make email will it work actually not the reason is till now this class is not inherited for inheritance what we need to do here just simply put here extends create account and now you can see that there is a no error and it will work fine so if i am just uh, refreshing it you will find that email address is also created for uh, you can see that user and uh, we can do the same thing with the employee also so if i'm just simply putting here e1 dot add email for bruce will it work yes definitely it will work after inheriting it so let's simply put here extends create account and now we can see that it will generating the password for uh, user as well as employees so why i created here two class and i'm showing you again and again with the user and employee see if i am just showing you this example only with the user that time you will just say that why you are not just simply creating this make email functions inside a user class right so what is actually purpose of, of it so now we have a uh, two basically classes one for users and second for employees so now we can understand here with the completely that we can reuse this code with the multiple classes and this is the actual use of inheritance in the upcoming videos we will learn some more points like uh, how we can inherit the multiple uh, parent classes or how we can just put the inherited class inherited classes in the separate file and the child classes in a separate file right all right great so uh, let's talk about the interview question in interview can they can just just simply ask that can we uh, make a two parent class of a single child class the answer is yes we can just make a two parent class of this child class so for example uh, we have a create account and let's say we have a uh, one more uh, class here like a get address and something then the both can be extended by the user so we can say that two parent classes can be used or can be inherit with the single child class thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video